guys welcome back to my channel so don't mind the different setting I'm still I'm trying to find anywhere and everywhere that I can record where I'm getting somewhat good lighting and that it's gonna look okay um, and this week this video we're featured in the little office that we have so this is what I'll try and I, I kind of like it oh. um, I kind of like it. I, I don't know, there's something about the lighting right now that I think is nice, and especially at night. So anyway, um, as you can tell by the thumbnail and the title, we're just going to go through what we have for this week's or this month's BoxyCharm. I didn't do a try-on or anything. Um, I'm just looking to go ahead and unbox what's here. Um, I think mine's just slightly different. There's one item slightly different than other youtubers that I've seen and so just to kind of give you an idea of what there is so let's go ahead and get started now my is well of course kind of all out of order I kind of looked at it already just to see what's there but um, the top part that you first get is going to be this uh, card and it says glitz and glam and it's going to have the titles and descriptions of what's going to be included. So we'll use this and stick it to the side. All right. The first thing that's popping out here is this crown brush. Let me go ahead and get it out of the packaging so it's not annoying as you are watching this video. So the packaging looks like this. I'm sorry if it's washed out. I don't... Again, I have a little selfie ring light there kind of helping to try and give me some extra light aside from kind of like an office light that's there. But this crown brush, it feels very nice and soft. The right up hand, I feel like that the handle is not as sturdy or heavy as other brushes that maybe we've gotten in uh, previous boxy charms. But uh, we'll see. This is showing uh, as a deluxe blush brush. So it's going to be used for, I guess, just like here, bring it back. The retail value of this is $12. It says that this is super soft, dense synthetic bristles. This brush can be used with both powder and cream blushes and provide medium to full coverage for a more dramatic finish. So I don't know that this is my kind of blush brush, but I'm sure there's going to be some sort of use for this, whether it's something that maybe fits right into the contours of your cheek to do some bronzing or contouring, you know. Um, but in any case, it does feel nice and soft, so it'll be something that um, definitely I'll have to try out. The next item that I see here is this Tarte Mascara. This is the Tartiest Lash Paint Mascara. This retails for $23. It's a jet black vegan mascara that has a molded brush that grabs and coats even the tiniest lashes for 27,000% more volume. Am I reading? Yeah, that's correct. 27,000% more volume. So if I open it up like this, there is quite a bit of extra calm product here on the end. Um, so of course I would just kind of wipe it off there. But this is what the wand looks like. I'll have to try and see about trying this out. I did try the lashes, the Lights Camera Lashes one. I like it because it had a very small, it was more hair like bristles than it was more of a plastic. This kind of looked plasticky. And I like that one, but we'll have to try this one. See if it's a wet formula or a drier formula. And also if it kind of you know, transfers up to the top or the bottom um, parts of the eyes. So we'll try that out. The next thing that I'm seeing here is this Real Her Be Fearless, Be Limitless blush kit. And the packaging looks like this. This retails for $32. It says, treat your cheeks to an instant natural glow with three shimmery tones. I'm not, I don't know that I'm necessarily one for shimmery tones. And so it looks like this. It's very difficult. I did, of course, look at this, um, but it has like a little bit of a uh, stickiness, so I thought I was breaking it before. I didn't want to rip it or anything. Um, 
I guess it's just their way to keep it completely sealed. But it does come with a little mirror. There you go. And it comes with three... Oh, plastic came out. It scared me. It does come with three blushes. I feel like this one is more of my kind of blush, even though they are a little bit shiny um, and shimmery. Let me go ahead and swatch some of them and we'll kind of see what they look like on the hand. So that's how they look on the fingers. Doing a little bit of a finger swatch. These two seem to be the most powdery when I swatch them on my hand. This one, not so much. But these two also feel like they're the ones that actually don't have any more shimmer after the first layer. So it may just be a top coat type of situation. Um, but here's what they look like. So those are what the shades look like. And again, I think that the um, two on the right, the middle one and the more brown one, they actually have, um, I don't think, any sort of shimmer after the first layer. The one right here definitely does. This is, I don't know if I mentioned it, it's retailing for $32 for three blushes. And these two also, again, I don't know if I mentioned it and I apologize, these two seem more powdery. This one not so much because it's already kind of dirty here on the white, so that might be something because it's white, it's gonna you're gonna see it more. Not not on camera right now, but in any case, we'll have to try that out with the blush brush and see how that works. So the next item in the boxy charm is this pretty vulgar, which is the brand. This is called My Lips Are Sealed. This is a liquid lipstick. Hi. This, um, it's a highly pigmented liquid lipstick that provides a radiant metallic finish, nice, comfortable, creamy texture, and a citrus cordial flavor. Oops, sorry. Don't know. So it looks like this. I like the packaging here um, with the floral. Um, this does seem pretty heavy, pretty nice uh, feeling. This retails for $24. Let me go ahead and give you a little bit of a swatch here. It's very nice. It's more of a, it is a little bit of metallic, but it's, it's not like those popping like here I am type of metallics because it's a brown, brownier shade. I think it's going to be very wearable. I did swatch it here on this end, so you can see it there. I think that's going to be nice. I have this, so sorry. Um, I think that would be nice. I did actually try it the other night just to put a little bit on my lips. And I don't know that it would dry down completely, but I will try this, see what happens. Um, it looks like a nice everyday color. And the last thing that I have in the box is this Bella Pierre Cosmetics Pro Concealer Palette. And it looks like this on the outside. And you can see how I'm recording. There you go. <laughs> but um, you have, when you open it up, you have three shades. And this is a pro concealer, like correcting, color correcting. So it says here, Bella Pierce Professional Color Correcting Concealer Palette is formulated with rich, creamy, good for your skin ingredients, helping create a flawless, healthy complexion. This concealer palette does retail for $29.99, 30 bucks. Um, I don't know how much use, uh, to be honest, I'm going to get out of this because I don't, Oh, it smells like crayons. You know, you know that smell of freshly opened, never used, touched crayons? That's what this smells like. Uh, I would hope that this just would um, go away once you put it on your face. But anyway, um, I've never used any sort of color correcting, so I don't know how to really use this. And maybe something to give me more of a try. Because the thing is, is I feel like I don't have terrible under eye circles that are you know, purple and, and deep. So I feel like this is what you would use that for. The green would be to combat redness, I believe. Um, and I don't feel like I have too, too much redness. Aside from maybe if there's like a little blemish or something. But I, I feel like it's pretty much okay. And maybe I'd have it around here. But again, it's, I don't really feel like I have anything for my nose that's consistently red or anything like that. So again, I don't really know about that one. And I'm not sure what purple colors do as far as concealing. But again, with the two, I don't know. I and mean, we'll certainly try it. I'll look this up some more and see. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, this is really... I just go like this and I can smell it. So if you're sensitive to smells, and I'm not usually sensitive to smells, I'm usually okay, but this may not be something that you would want to try um, if you did get it. I don't know. But again, we'll see what I'm going to be able to do with this, um, if anything. But it's pretty cool that it's in the pal in the box. Surprise that it's worth 30 bucks. Um, but again, Bella Pierre, I think, is more of a little bit of a higher end brand. So anyway, that's that's that one. So the entire value of this box is $120.99. Again, very good value for what you're going to get. Even if I don't end up using this, still paying 20 bucks for 90 something, whatever the difference is, um, I feel like it's still pretty good. So definitely if you've been com contemplating on whether you should try it or not, I think it's a great idea because it is all also helping me to build my collection, build my collection with some high-end products that I am finding to be, some of them are nice, some of them maybe I haven't really touched in a while or haven't touched at all. So I do need to get back to, you know, trying it out and kind of wearing it. But still, it's it's something that I think would help. Anyway, so that's going to complete the video here of me just unboxing what we received in December's Boxy Charm. I hope you liked the video. I hope you um, I hope you would like it and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and welcome to any new subscribers that I've gotten uh, recently. Um, I know I don't have many, but I'm just glad and appreciative of anybody that I have um, who's willing to watch my videos. Again, I hope you'll like and subscribe and leave a comment down below and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye guys.